guys, it's your girl Daphne. Welcome back to another great week. Today, I'm going to share with you nine tips for new actors. If you're just starting out in the industry, these tips are going to help you set a strong foundation for your career. Number one, set a schedule. It's important to treat acting like a job and create a schedule that works for you. This will help you stay organized and focus on your goals, especially for auditions. Create a routine during your off time from work and devote yourself to improving different components of your craft, such as voice work, full body conditioning, and reading scripts. Number two, network with other industry professionals. Attend events, join groups, and connect with other actors, directors, and producers in the industry. You never know who you might meet or what opportunities may arise. When networking, look for possible connections that you share with another professional outside of entertainment. Cultivating a friendship in the networking process can have a meaningful impact on your personal and professional growth. Number three, Create with your peers. Collaborate with other actors and filmmakers to create your own content. This will help you gain experience and build your portfolio. Once you find a group of like-minded creatives in the entertainment industry, brainstorm ways to collaborate for free or with a small budget. For example, you can put together a live theater performance if your group includes actors, screenwriters, and directors. If you have a friend with a camera and lighting setup, your group can create a short film or web series inside your home or apartment. None of this, as you can see, requires a fancy studio, okay? <laughs> Number four, seek talent representation. A talent agent or manager can help you get auditions and navigate the industry. Do your research and find someone who is a good fit for you. Most new actors who aren't on the radar list of major talent agencies, such as CAA, WME, or UTA, can actually find a smaller acting agency in their local area. For example, my talent agency here in Dallas is under Calidus Agency. Getting an agent may open doors depending on the city you're in. Dallas is a lot harder to break into the acting market since there are no production studios here, unlike bigger cities like Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, and Atlanta. The issue with the larger markets is that you either have to get a referral from another studio or have tons of work and experience to get on something like Netflix, for example. Trust me, this business is hard and it's not for the weak. I'm just saying. I've personally been on at least nine or 10 auditions, took classes for training, and still haven't landed anything major yet after months of training. Talk to existing clients search online for feedback, and ask your peer group or acting coach if they have experience with a specific agency to get an idea of what you're looking for. Number five, be courteous to casting directors. Always be professional and respectful when interacting with casting directors. They have a difficult job and appreciate actors who are easy to work with. As a general rule, it's best to maintain a professional relationship to avoid projecting the idea that you're just trying to be their friend to score the job. Number six, take classes. Acting classes can help you improve your skills and build your confidence as an actor. Your craft as an actor requires practice, reassessment, and fine tuning. Taking group classes or studying with a personal acting coach can be an excellent way to hone your craft between jobs and auditions. Plus, this is another great way to meet new peers along with networking. 
Number seven, practice on camera. Get comfortable in front of the camera by creating your own content or practicing monologues. Most actors begin their careers in live theater, which involves different performance techniques than on-camera acting. The camera exaggerates detail, which may feel like a subtle facial expression to you, but it may come across as over the top upon scrutiny from the camera. Use your phone to record your next rehearsal, then review your on-camera acting work to better understand how your face and body language project on screen. Number eight, be on time. <laughs> Always arrive early to auditions and set calls. Being punctual shows that you are reliable and professional. As a general rule, make sure to arrive within 15 minutes of the scheduled meeting time, whether it's a rehearsal, film set, talent agent's office, audition room, or drama school. And finally, number nine, take care of your mental health. Acting can be a stressful and competitive industry, so it's important to prioritize self-care and seek support when needed. Show business is a highly competitive industry that comes with lots of rejection. You can audition dozens of times before receiving a call back. So it's essential to reinforce your confidence. That way you can better handle rejection and criticism about your performance. Practicing meditation, yoga, or mindfulness exercises is a great way to help balance the stressors of the job. If you notice a significant difference in your attitude, sleeping patterns, or eating habits, consider reaching out to a mental health professional for support. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope these tips were helpful for any new actors out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.